All right, today we're putting together the Bird Kids Unicorn Boom. And yes, that's right. Unicorn output corresponds to unicorn butthole output. All right, so uh, looking at the schematic here, uh, I got the parts labeled, and then there's the nicely put together box. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward. I'm looking forward to this, it should be easy. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna do capacitors first. I got these placed in here. Uh, the white side is the negative side, also it corresponds with what's on the board, so easy to follow along. Uh, they have some resistors here, and I think that you can move those around uh, in, inside these little things right here, but I'm not exactly sure where those go just yet. So, uh, here we go. Can, gonna keep going. All right, so the only thing I've done is uh, I soldered in the Vactrol and there's a paint dot on it and that corresponds, I believe, with uh, U3 there, that circle. I hope that's the case. Um, so yeah, the Vactrol's in there and then I just placed everything else in here, these LEDs, uh, the, uh, the Thunky Kong jacks. There's a big white switch right here, this button. Everything's placed. Uh, also the potentiometers, everything's placed, uh, but nothing's soldered yet. So I'm gonna do all these jacks first, and then I'm gonna put some tape over these uh, flowers. That's where the LEDs go, so that the LEDs fit flush. I don't want them poking out of the panel. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right, so everything's soldered on the back here. Got uh, the uh, pots and jacks all soldered. Next, I need to solder this on and do it on for the other side. And then also, I got these things here, and I guess the resistors and these capacitors, where'd they go? Right here. These, uh, I guess you can move these around, but the problem here is they don't quite fit. At least the two, four, six. I got six prongs, or six holes, and then five prongs. So I gotta query one of my friends. All right. Okay, so everything's soldered in. Uh, I believe these like, this stuff is optional uh, and you can configure, throw like resistors and stuff in there. Um, but these don't fit. So I'm pretty sure that all those are optional. Uh, so I'm just gonna put the panel on, screw it down and gonna be good to go. Um, yeah, I had to figure out which side. So the red stripe corresponds with the, uh, there's a square pad and you can see the lead coming off the square pad for power. And that's, uh, that's how I determine the direction that this goes. And I actually plugged in a cable to see that. So um, yeah, other than that, not too bad of a build, especially since I had to do all the SMT. Cool. Okay, there it is. All done, nice and shiny, knobs on. I really hope that power connector is on the right way. Judging by how everything else went today, probably gonna blow this thing up. Okay. All right, one thing to note is to make sure you don't screw on. So I got the nuts under the, uh, the knobs. Don't screw those on too tight. And also these, uh, the jack nuts, cause uh, this is a plexiglass panel. So if you do over tighten it, it will crack. And also up here, this is a really thin, there's not much material between the screw and the end of the panel, so that will crack as well. But yeah, overall, happy, glad it works. All right, let's go.
Yeah.